Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards. And today, we're gonna have a one night stand. But is it worth your time? Let's find out. All right, let's get into it. It's good to have every single one of you back. And you would think with the sheer number of ingredients that I would be making something very much like a tiki drink. However, I'm not. I'm going to be making a variation of a Long Island iced tea. And for those of you that are not familiar with one, the Long Island iced tea was created in 1972 by Rosebud Butts while he worked at the Oakwood Beach Inn in Long Island. And he did that for a cocktail con cocktail competition. Now, this cocktail was so popular that it's hung around for a very long time and it's got a lot of different variations of it. It's also a cocktail that has absolutely no tea in it, so it's a bit of a misnomer on the name. But we're not here for a Long Island iced tea, we're here to have a one night stand. So let's get into it. The first thing we need, of course, is our shaking glass. And we're gonna start with your favorite choice of vodka. In this case, I have Flight Vodka here, and this is a local vodka to me, and we need a total of one and a half ounces or 45 milliliters. The next thing that we need is your gin of choice. Again, depending on the flavors you want, I'm using Devil's Keep Distillery from New Brunswick. This is a, uh, a local gin to New Brunswick. It was sent to me by my friend Dan. And of course we need the same amount, which is an ounce and a half or 45 milliliter. So we're gonna not worry about that right now. Grab your favorite white rum. You could use any different type of rum that you want. However, if you're looking to have a specific color for your uh, drink, you wanna stick with a white rum, that way it won't affect anything. We're using a lamb's rum and we're using an ounce and a half, which works out to 45 milliliters. Our next white, as we like to call it, is tequila. I'm using a Cazador's tequila. I really, really enjoy this stuff. I, I sort of fell in love with it during the, uh, the COVID issue and being stuck at home. Um, and I bought a couple of these because I thought I would have absolutely zero access to the liquor store. Turns out that where I am, they didn't close the liquor store. So eh, again, an ounce and a half or 45 mils. We're getting a lot of booze in there. It's look, gonna be pretty strong. The next thing you need is some form of peach snaps. I'm using Dr. McGillicuddy's peach snaps, of course. And here we need half an ounce of this. Half an ounce works out to 15 milliliters. And this will give us some of our interesting peach flavors. But we're also going to use a little bit of a sour mix. And this is a homemade sour mix. And it's made by one part water, one part sugar, very much like your simple syrup. You just heat it up till it goes clear. Then you add one part of lemon juice and half a part of lime juice. Make sure that you filter those out first to get rid of any of the pulp or any of the thick stuff. And we want, of course, half an ounce, which is another 15 mils. This original recipe that I'm using was first presented to me on Common Man by Common Man Cocktails. And of course, the host of that show is uh, Derek Schomer. But he had a guest with him. Her name was Jalitha Brodeur. And she talked about how much of a chick drink this was. But here, we don't believe that any drink is just a chick drink because if you like the drink and it's in your glass, it's yours. Now we're using a Malibu coconut rum. Use your rum of choice, of course. And we need one ounce of that or 30 milliliters. And there's an awful lot of booze in this. So what you'll do is take your shaking tin and we're gonna fill this with ice and we're going to shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. All right, now there is a lot of liquid in this drink. So take your tall 
glass of choice. I'm using the Collins glass here. And this is a standard 10 ounce Collins glass or highball glass. Because of that, we're only going to fill this about two thirds of the way with ice. Assuming I can figure out my tongs. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll give it a bit of a strain just using our Hawthorne strainer. You really don't need to. And that's very clear looking. And there's still enough in here for you to do another second drink. So if you wanna cut the recipe down in half to make yourself single servings, absolutely go for it. Grab your orange juice. I decimated an entire bag of uh, oranges just so I could have this ready. And you'll top this up. Looks very, very nice. All right, you're probably looking at about four ounces of orange juice there. We're not done. We need a splash of grenadine. And I made some homemade grenadine again, and I'll put the recipe for this as well as the, uh, the sour mixture down in the description down below for you. And we'll add, I don't know, a spoon, maybe a little bit more. Now this will add just a little bit of color and a little bit of sweetness to it. Don't garnish it. Well, or garnish it if you want to, your choice. Doesn't really matter. Give it a bit of a stir with your, uh, with your straw. I have a nice steel bendy straw here. Let's see how it tastes. Ooh, mm. that's good. It's very strong. You don't really taste the alcohol. Oh yeah. You know what? Oh, that's very good. This is a one night stand that was well worth it. And what I will do is I will put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time in my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you get notified every time we put up a new video. And you know what? If you like an awesome iced tea variation, hit the thumbs up button and we'll see you next time. We're having a one night stand and I'm gonna show you how to make one too. And alcohol creation competition. And yeah, alcohol competition. Yeah. However,